Hi everyone, it's me, Beatty Kelly Sunflower. Hope you're all good. So I thought I'd hop on today and do a flip through of my latest Kickstarter deck. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you that deck. Okay, so I've taken a deck out of the cardboard packaging that it came with. So you get the cards, a postcard and a letter which says thank you so much for supporting my Kickstarter. Lynn, let's have a look, open up the letter first and see what the letter says. I like the fact that it's in nice kind of like recycled kind of paper. Um, beautiful look at that postcard. I wonder what card this is. I don't know if it's the Empress or a Swords card, but we, we'll see when we go through the deck. Beautiful. So I'm going to put this in a um, frame and pull it on one of my altars. So let's have a look at this. This is another thank you card. I mean, it's, it's got some um, detail, so keep in touch. So it's got the Etsy store, the Instagram store, and her webpage. So thank you, Lynn. Let's have a look at this deck. Let's take this off. I love it when people package their goods with care. So it's called The Wisdom of the Depth Tarot by Lynn Thurman. So it's, it's come with um, like a little pull out. So it says, um, Blessings Lynn Thurman. And it's just basically um, a pull out of the of the cards gives gives you one one word for each archetype. So you know the falls, beginnings, the magician intention, the high priestess intuition, the empress nurturance, the emperor leadership, hierophant authority, lovers union, chariot control, strength is strength, hermit is inner wisdom, will of fortune is change, justice is consequences. The hangman is sacrifice, death is transformation, temperance is balance, the devil is temptation, the tower is destruction, the star is hope, the moon is illusion, the sun is illumination, judgment is acceptance and the world is completion. And it does the same thing for the minor arcana. So it gives you a bit of a blurb about what the four, um, four suits mean. And then under cups, it says cups represent water element. They relate to feelings, emotions, relationships and intuition. And then again, it gives you one meaning for each of the cards. Um, does that for pentacles and wands. And then at the back, it says um, the wisdom of depth tarot is a 78 card deck based on the traditional symbolism of the Rider Waite Smith tarot. The sea theme indicates quirky characters alongside familiar sea creatures. The artwork is digital collage with the main characters being, being resurrected from vintage book illustrations or photographs. I've cut them out, coloured them in and put them in an ocean inspired scene. Get to know the cards, step into the liminal space between the sea and the shore and allow the cards to speak to you. They all have stories to tell. And then it's got reading the cards. Tarot reading reveals the tides and currents around situations, relationships or events in your life. Noticing these patterns, possibilities or potential obstacles can lead to more empowering decisions being made. Oftentimes a reading acts as a validation to what you already know on your intuitive level. You can read the cards both up right or reverse which is upside down it's up to you how you choose to read the cards there is no right or wrong way if you like to use reversals an easy way is to look at look at the end of the cards being blocked if it comes up reverse this guide gives you keywords that can be applied to each card keywords can act as a catalyst for inspiration and intuition guiding you to your own meaning and insights if you're unfamiliar with tarot, the keywords can be helpful in bridging the gap between oracle and tarot. However, take the keywords as a guide only and flow with your own insights. I invite you to make your this deck your own. And then she's got a couple of spreads. So she's got the daily current spread, which is um, a one card spread. 
This can be drawn either at the start of a day or in the evening for a retrospective reading. Then it's got the Wisdom of Depth spread. Um, it's a three card spread. So position one is the current situation or issue. Position two is what lies between the surface. This is something you can grasp physically, intuitively or intellectually. And um, number three is what wisdom is hidden in the depths of the darkness. Then you've got the tide spread, which is also a free card spread. Position one is low tide, something revealed. Position two is high tide, something covered up. Position three is opportunities and availability. So that's the nice pull out, just basic book, but it gives you enough information in there for the cards. Okay, so let's move on to the tarot cards. Okay, so let's look at the cards in terms of size. So if I compare it to my Abano weight tarot deck, which is the size of a regular RWS. Um, let's just turn this around and see. They're about the same. They're actually about the same size as a regular RWS card. It's just that the corners are more kind of rounded. They're kind of like Llewellyn-ish cardstock to me. Lovely um, reversible backs. Octopuses, I think these are. There's no edging on the cards, but I don't mind that because I can always do it myself or leave them as they are. So let's have a look at the cards. Okay, so this is the second flip through for the cards because um, people were saying that the, the um, images were blurry. So I hope this is clearer. If the images are still blurry, that means that the cards are not photogenic for some reason. So let's start off with the four. So this looks like an underwater astronaut. And he's got like a sea lion as his guide. You've got the magician with all his tools on the table. So you've got the pentacles, the cups, the wands and the swords. The high priestess. This is the picture that um, was on the postcard card that I showed earlier. I can find the postcard. I'm sure it's the same picture, but in this one, she's away from the pillar. So I thought that was the Empress, it's actually the High Priestess. So you've got the Empress. It looks like she's in a wooded, wooded environment, which is nature. The Emperor. The Hierophant. The lovers. And I like that one person's got like a fish body and the other one's got a fish head. So they're kind of like connected. The chariot. And this time a chariot is a, I don't know what you call this. Is it a flying fish? The strength card. is a massive fish and you've also got a snake there as well. So this is the Hierophant, so the Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. Justice, so there's no blindfolds, but she's doing her hands in the same signal as what you would see on the traditional Rider Waite Smith card. The Hangman. Death. Temperance. The Devil. The Tower. The Star. Beautiful Star. Wish upon a Star. The Moon. The Dolphin. I love the fact that the Sun is an older person riding a seahorse because normally you always see it as a child on a horse judgment and the world card so as you can see they are rider Waite smith inspired but it's just sea themed moving on to the suit of wands got the ace of wands the two of wands
three of wands waiting for his ship to come in four of wands that's building that foundation under the sea five of wands this looks more like um negotiation to me rather, um rather than conflict so it looks like they're trying to work together as part of a team six of wands which is usually victory and i'm not sure how this <laughs> represents victory but I'm, I'm not sure seven of wands eight of wands and it looks like this person wants to get that message across quite fast that message in the bottle nine of wands and ten of wands move on to the court cards got the page the knight the queen and the king so it looks like a little person to me so moving on to the suit of cups you've got the ace of cups Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Four of Cups, missed opportunity there, Five of Cups, Six of Cups, it's Childhood Memories, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups. This is interesting. So I see this is the Eight of Cups is walking away from an emotional situation, but this guy's walking away from catching this fish. I don't know if that was an emotional journey for him, the whole catch. It's nine of Cups and Ten of Cups, which looks like a family going to the beach. So we've got the Page of Cups, which is a fish out of water. The Knight of Cups. And his seahorse. The Queen of Cups. And the King of Cups, who looks so cool. Moving on to the suit of swords, you've got the Ace of Swords. The Two of Swords. Trying to make that decision. I really like this Three of Swords because it looks like, like a real heart, like somebody's actual organ of a heart, and it's really pierced deep. So that deep rooted pain could be emotional, could be mental. Four of Swords, just taking some time out to rest. Five of Swords. Six of Swords, moving away to safer waters. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. And Ten of Swords. Into the court cards, you've got the page. The Knight of Swords is on a big bird. Is that Penguin, I think? The Queen of Swords. So she's really in control. And the King of Swords. So moving on to the final suit, which is the suit of Pentacles. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles, isn't that gorgeous? The Three of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. Five. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. 
I've noticed in this suit of pentacles the archetypes are either like dark, like black, or olive skinned. Eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles, and ten of pentacles. With most of the court cards, you've got the page, the knight. Look at those legs. They're so like football legs. The queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles. Now in my first flip through, people were saying that the cards were blurry. So do let me know in the comments bar if these ones were also blurry. And if that is the case, then obviously it's not my camera. It must be the the way these these cards photograph because in the live or in life they look really really clear so i'm not understanding why they should be looking blurry on camera but let's just see how they come across this time okay so let's give the cards a shuffle and see how they shuffle as you know i'm an overhand shuffler so for me they shuffle very very smoothly um i will say this card stock is more you know, like a Llewellyn card stock, they're quite flexible. So I guess that a riffle shuffler would also find these cards quite comfortable to shuffle. So what are my first impressions? I like I like the cards. Um, I think that anyone who likes Rider Waite Smith will, will will find these cards easy to read because it's just a Rider Waite Smith deck with a undersea theme or a sea theme. Um, Beginners would like this as well. As you know, um, you know, I like to use my decks first before I comment on how they work with me. So if you want to see how this deck plays out, feel free to um, follow me on Instagram because I normally do Instagram challenges. I think I'll probably start using this deck more in the new year though because I'm, I've got decks that I'm using um, for the month of December. But it's a nice deck. It's... The stories look like they're easy to interpret. Um, it is to me quite diverse because you've got um, older people, you've got people with um, full figures. Um, I think I saw somebody with a disability, so it is ticking all the diverse bo boxes to me. And I'm looking forward to using this deck in the new year. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave the creator's website and um, Etsy shop in the description bar should anybody be interested. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.